بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello and welcome my dear students to our lesson of today which is going to be about 3A What's your destination from the book Traveler 2 This lesson is for the first secondary stage from the second semester prepared by Amna Madkhali and presented by Yasser Innakhli In our lesson today inshallah we will express ability we will make request we will ask for permission and finally we will practice can could may be able to now look at this picture here this is a warm-up of course how did people travel in the past look careful at this picture please can you name anything inside this picture okay very good now let's go to listening and reading a chicken desk in Madrid do you find traveling enjoyable or stressful? Why? What's the worst thing that's happened to you while traveling? Do you find traveling enjoyable or stressful? Okay, why? Why it is enjoyable or why it is stressful? What's the worst thing that's happened to you while traveling do you remember what happened to you okay very good now look at the man in this picture here how does he feel and what do you think has happened to him okay Look at his face. Is he happy or sad? Okay, very good. Now, what do you think has happened to him? Okay, let's listen and find out what happened to this man. Listen carefully, please. 1. Listening and reading. B. Look at the man in the picture. How does he feel? What do you think has happened to him? Listen and check your answers. At the check-in desk in Madrid. Good afternoon. Where are you flying to? London Heathrow. May I see your passport, please? There you go. Could I have an aisle seat? Sure. How many bags are you checking in? Just this one. Can I take this smaller one on the plane with me? Let me see. Could you put it on the conveyor belt? There. Hmm, I'm sorry. But it's too heavy for hand luggage. You have to check it in. But I have important stuff in there. Sorry. At lost luggage in London Heathrow. I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that we were able to find your bag. At last. You know, I didn't even want to check that one in. What's the bad news? Well, there's been a bit of a mix-up. Let me explain. The airport code for London Heathrow is LHR. But the baggage handler thought your bag had LHP on it. An easy mistake to make. LHP? What airport is that? Le who? Le where? It's in Papua New Guinea. What? We've arranged to fly your bag directly here as soon as possible. Can you give me an address here in London? We can arrange for a courier to bring it to you. Yes. I've written the address in my notebook. Oh, no. Is there a problem? Yes. My notebook is in Papua, New Guinea. OK, now read the dialogue and answer the questions. Question number one. Where would the passenger like to sit on the plane. Number two, how many bags does the passenger check in? Number three, what is LHR? Number four, what's the bad news? Number five, where is Lee Hu? Number six, who is going to bring the passenger's lost luggage to him? Number seven, what is in the passenger's lost bag? OK, 
okay now let's check your answers number one number one he would like to have an aisle seat number two how many bags two bags of course number three the airport code for London Heathrow number four what's the bad news the bad news that there has been a bit of mix-up and now the man's bag is in Lihu number five it is in Papua New Guinea number six a courier and number seven he lost his notebook with his address in London vocabulary words related to traveling by plane now read the text and try to guess the meaning of the words or phrases in bold look at here you have too many words okay in bold try to guess the meaning of each word while you read this text okay let's start Lee arrived at the airport at 6 a.m. He was going away on a business trip, but before leaving, he wanted to see his friend, Oliver. Oliver was coming back from a trip abroad and was arriving at 6.15. Lee waited for him at arrivals. When Oliver's plane landed, they went to a cafe. When it was time for Lee to leave, he went to departures and checked in his suitcase. Unfortunately, there was a two-hour delay. However, while he was waiting, he fell asleep. Luckily, someone woke him up just before his plane took off. He ran to the gate and was the last passenger to board the plane. He showed his boarding card to the flight attendant and went to his seat. Look at here, arrivals, what does it mean? Arrivals is the place at an airport where passengers go to once they have got off the plane. Departures, the place at an airport where passengers go to in order to make all the necessary arrangements before they get on their planes. Land, to come down through the air onto the ground. Take off, that means to leave the ground and begin to fly. Look at these pictures. Boarding cart. The boarding card, a card that a passenger receives after they have checked in and they must have it to be allowed to get on a plane. Gate, the place at an airport where passengers are allowed to get on or off a plane. Board, to get on a plane. They are boarding now. Delay, a period of time when passengers have to wait before they get on their plane because of a problem that makes their flight late. Number three, grammar, express ability, permission or request. Can, could, may, be able to. Now read the examples below and decide what the word in bold express ability permission or request now look at these sentences and try which one of these sentences express ability permission or request may i see your passport please can i take this small one on the plane with me we can arrange for a courier to bring it to you the good news 
is that we were able to find your bag. Could you put it on the conveyor belt? Okay, now look at this note here. We use can, is able to, or are able to, to express ability in the present, in the present time or present tense. While we use could, or was or were able to, to express ability in the past. Okay, so can, is able to, or are able to, in the present, could, in the past. Okay, very good. Now read the situations and form sentences using the words in the brackets. What I want you to do in this uh, exercise, I want you to read the situation and give me a sentence, form a sentence using the words in the brackets like can, able, could, can, and me. Okay, but first read the situations, then try to form a sentence by using the words here between these brackets. Number one, you want to borrow your friend's mobile phone. What do you say? Number two, you couldn't meet your brother at the airport yesterday. Apologize to him. Apologize that means to say sorry or an excuse. Number three, you are thirsty. Ask the flight attendant for some water. Do you remember the flight attendant? Number four, you are not able to find your boarding card. Tell the clerk. Number five, you want to use your laptop on the plane. Ask for permission. Now let's check your answers. If you want to borrow your friend's mobile phone, what do you say? Okay, can I borrow your mobile phone? Number two, I'm sorry, but I wasn't able to meet you at the airport yesterday. Number three, you are thirsty. Ask the flight attendant for some water. Could I have some water, please? Could I have some water, please? Number four, you are not able to find your boarding card. Tell the clerk. I can't find my boarding card. I cannot or I can't find my boarding card. Final number five, you want to use your laptop on the plane, ask for permission. And may I use my laptop on the plane? May I use my laptop on the plane? Okay, very good. Now let's go to speaking role play. Read the situation and form sentences using the words in brackets. Okay, student A. Imagine that you are the chicken clerk and that the student B is a passenger checking in his or her luggage. Discuss using the prompts in the box and answer student B's questions. Okay, student B, imagine that you are a passenger checking in your luggage and that student A is a chicken clerk. Discuss and use the prompt in the box to ask student A questions. Use these words inside box for each student. Student A, you have to use this box and student B, you have to use this box. Okay, now evaluation. Now complete the sentences and the puzzle and find the word in the gray boxes. Okay, you have here seat, departure, passport, delay. Okay, number one, the time for the next train of Philadelphia is 10.15. Number two, we are sorry for the your plane is going to leave in about two hours. Three, the airport clerk did not let my husband through because he didn't have 
his for excuse me I think you are sitting in my okay let's check your answers number one the departure time very good number two the delay number three passport and finally number four seat my seat complete the dialogues with the model verbs in the boxes okay let's check your answers number one or a can you lend me your car very good no Jack you cannot drive okay you mean I couldn't drive three months ago but now I am a great driver okay today we learned how to express ability he can play football I cannot drive how we can make requests can you give me a ride ask for permission may I come in please and we practice can could may be able to excuse me you cannot bring your bike into the shop these are the references traveler to students book workbook teachers guide and google clip arts for pictures for more information and lessons do not hesitate to call us on our website our twitter account our phone number thank you and hope to see you again والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته